If you've ever been in the market for a new multi-head embroidery machine, one of the first selling points you'll be told is how many stitches per minute the machine runs at. In this video, I'm gonna show you why stitches per minute does not always equal machine speed. We'll demystify the stitches per minute claims and break down some factors that will show you that there just might be two sides to this coin. So keep watching to see if this myth is fact or fiction or maybe a bit of both. Now, some of you may know that my history within the embroidery industry comes from a manufacturing background. We had a couple factories running with lots of employees and lots of multi-head equipment and it was really based on production and performance. So stitches per minute really did matter, but there's a few factors that can affect how fast your machine actually runs. Digitized probably being the most important. If a design isn't digitized well, it's going to add a lot of runtime to the machine because every unnecessary trim or color change means that the machine has to slow down, trim, start again, and pick up speed, or even longer is a color change, which means that the machine has to slow down, stop, the head has to move over, and then it has to pick up again. So you can add a lot of machine time because of that. Also, the types of stitches that are being used. We have a running stitch, we have a satin stitch, and we have a fill stitch, and all of those stitches have different stitch lengths and different movements on the machine. A running stitch with a long stitch length will actually cause some equipment to slow down as the stitches get longer. And a satin stitch, which goes in multiple directions, means that your frame is having to move you know, from Y to Z, and the longer the stitch, the more the frame needs to actually move, and the machine will slow down to accommodate for those longer stitches. Fill stitches are much the same thing. The longer the stitch length on a fill, the longer your design is actually going to take to run on the machine. And all of this comes down to the quality of the machine, and the motors that drive the frame, the sash frame. It has to move X and Y, and because it's going in multiple directions, it needs to accommodate the speed based on the tension that's running from the top and the bottom thread. And that's really where you get a lot of slowdowns in a lot of machines. And it's kind of like driving a you know, car. If you are driving a car and you're going really fast, you have no problem going fast if you're going in a straight line. But as soon as you have to make a turn, or you have to stop, or you have a roadway that has lots of little weaves in it, you need to put on the brakes a little bit to accommodate how you're going to be driving and what the road surface is like. Digitizing and embroidery are very much the same type of thing. So here's how this experiment is gonna go down. We have three different machine brands. One is a Baby Lock Brother 10 needle machine with a maximum speed of 1,000 stitches per minute. The next is an Offshore 1501 machine that also has a maximum speed of 1,000 stitches per minute. And lastly is the Tajima Sai with a maximum stitch speed of only 800 stitches per minute. Now they're all gonna be running the same 20,612 stitch design all running full out at their maximum speed. Then we'll compare the results, taking into account not only how long each one took, but also the visual results. Now first is the Baby Lock 10 needle machine, which took 36 minutes and 27 seconds. The machine ran really smoothly, the registration is good, the design looks great. The only thing is the machine significantly slowed down when doing longer stitch lengths, and it would speed up when doing shorter running stitch lengths. So really the main thing with this design and the 10 needle machine was the speed drastically slowed as stitch lengths got wider. Next is the 15 needle crossover machine which took 32 minutes and 21 seconds. And the really strange thing about this one is the machine speed really varied depending on the stitches where it was placed in the design. Some of the running stitches ran at almost full speed, about 900 stitches per minute, while other areas slowed down to 400 stitches per minute in some of the longer satin stitches within the design. But again, the visual quality of the design remained pretty good and the registration looks great. And lastly, we have the Tajima Sai at 27 minutes and 22 seconds. Now this machine ran well all the way through. It had very little slowing down, even on the longer stitches. There was no registration problem and the design ran great. Now, you'll notice that the design actually looks good on all three machines, and that's due to the design being properly digitized in the first place. Even though the Tajima size top speed is 800 stitches per minute, which is 200 stitches per minute less than the other two machines, it still finished the job quicker than the other two. The important thing to remember is that a 20,612 stitch design divided by 800 stitches per minute would equal out to 25 minutes and 41 seconds. 
Taking that into account, adding the seven stops and 11 trims that are in this design, the Tajima Sai only added a minute and 41 seconds of actual time based on the machine slowing down and trimming, changing colors and moving ahead, which shows you that it did run consistently at 800 stitches per minute, while the others, even though they are sold at a thousand stitches per minute, the actual stitches per minute is much less. Now to be fair, this comparison was done with one brand which is considered a crossover machine, meaning that it's not really considered a true commercial grade machine, and one of the many offshore brands that are recently flooding the market. How do we perform the same test against one of the Tajima size Big Brothers or any other reputable machine manufacturer? The results would have been much different. Now, if you'd like to run your own test, click the link in the description to download this design for free and see how long your machine takes to stitch it out. Looking for the best beginner embroidery multi-needle machine? Meet the Tajima Sai, precise, reliable, and user-friendly. Unlock exclusive bonuses by filling out the form on our website. We'll connect you with an official Tajima partner to complete your purchase and claim your rewards. Elevate your embroidery today and click the link below to learn more. So to answer the question if stitches per minute are fact or fiction, it comes down to the chosen machine. Stitches per minute is not the only factor to consider when looking at machine speed. The quality of the machine you choose is as, if not more important than the advertised stitches per minute. So be sure to do your homework, and like I always say, the proof is in the stitching. I hope you found this video both interesting and educational, and be sure to watch this next video. And if you get a chance, let us know the time it took for your machine to run this free design.